Ruben Foster. Hey everyone, welcome to Zenny62 on YouTube and Zenny62 everywhere. Ruben Foster was arrested and now is in jail in Santa Clara County on a charge of alleged domestic violence. To say the least, that is very sad. The media marks that it's the second time that Ruben Foster has been arrested, but the real problem is that Ruben Foster, as of last year, was a 49ers great rookie and the team's leader in tackles, an instant contributor on a team that needed a defensive leader. But the problem, as I see it, is that, and this is true with a number of people coming out who are uh, going to the NFL perhaps a bit earlier than they should regardless of age and maturity, there's no leadership. There isn't a paid group of NFL alums assigned to each player to keep them on the straight and narrow, to explain to them that they don't owe, if they're African American, they come from a poor community, a debt to that community by not forgetting where they came from in the form of acting a certain way. If you want to contribute to your community, do so through contributions via the monies you make. But to feel like you have to hang out with a certain crowd or behave a certain way after achieving a certain status is not the way to go all the time. Judgment has to be proper and made. What's happening now is you have a situation where, in this case of Reuben Foster, he's getting into that classic line of problems that imply he's not keeping the right company. And how many times have we seen that before? The NFL really has to step in and take responsibility for the players that it brings in as employees, which they are, for how they develop. The NFL seems to make the statement that once the player is hired from the college, the NFL is not responsible. Yet, on the other hand, says, well, they represent our brand. They represent the shield, like in the case of, for example, the anthem. You can't have it both ways. The NFL has to make a choice regarding player development. It's got to make a, be a better set of choices and, and establish and implement a more intent and effective set of policies. Meanwhile, I pray for Ruben Foster, and I hope he, and I'm sure he will see better days.